Welcome to the Recon Trader. In today's video, I will show you how to set up an Affinity Grid Bot over on the Bing X Exchange. Now, for those of you who are familiar with the Qcoin Infinity Grid Bot, we are going to see if the Bing X Infinity Grid Bot performs similar. And so today we will be deploying an Infinity Grid Bot over on the Bing X Exchange. Now, if you're not familiar with the crypto exchange Bing X, if we jump over here to CoinGecko and we scroll down through the derivative exchanges, you will see that Bing X actually comes in number six as far as their derivative exchanges. Now on the spot market, I think they come in around 12 or 13. But as far as day trading goes, I trade derivatives or futures contracts. And therefore, I'm interested in where they're ranked as far as, say, Binance, Bybit. Those were two exchanges I used in the past. And obviously, since they went to full KYC, can't use them anymore and so I've been testing Bing X for a little while now and so far it's been performing well so that's enough jaw jacking about Bing X let's get into actually deploying one of these infinity grid bots and so we'll jump over here to the Bing X exchange now if you don't already have an account with Bing X if you click on the link in the description down below and join using my link. I believe you'll get a bit of a discount on your trading fees, so you might want to join through that link in the description down below. Once you have your account set up and you've sent over some funds, you're ready to go ahead and deploy one of these grid bots. And so if you come over here to the wealth tab, click on grid trading, that will bring you to the grid trading dashboard and you can see they actually do have future grid bots. I will be deploying some of these in the future so you might want to shoot that subscribe button now so you don't miss those future videos. They have your standard grid bot and then what we're going to be deploying today is the spot infinity grid bot so I just click on create. And then by default, they have auto settings, kind of AI type settings where all you really have to do is give your bot some ammo and hit deploy and it will already have the settings done for you. However, I am more interested in configuring the settings myself, so I'm going to click on manual. Now, the first thing I want to do is actually select what pair I want to trade. And as you can see, there's a variety of pairs. You can scroll down through and pick your pair. Today, however, I'm just going to go with BTC USDT. Now I'm ready to actually configure the settings. And I guess before we get too far into the weeds, if you're not familiar with how a grid bot operates, it's extremely basic. It buys low and sells high. And you're probably looking for some choppy price action like you see here on the screen so that you get these dips and rips back up. And a grid bot is basically made up of open limit orders. The green lines on the screen would represent open limit buy orders and the red lines would represent open limit sell orders. And so what you're looking for is when the price goes down it takes out these green lines and buys low and when the price rips back up the bot would sell as it takes out these red lines for profit now a traditional grid bot would have an upper limit and a lower limit an infinity grid bot does not have an upper limit the bot will follow the price up no matter how high it goes and just continue to rebuild the grid but it will still have a lower price limit that the bot will not trade down below. So if we jump back over here, the minimum price is gonna be that lower limit. So for minimum price for Bitcoin, let's put that at 35,000. Maybe that's the lowest we think Bitcoin will go to in its current market condition. And then the profit or the grid spacing, which is essentially the space in between each one of these grids or these orders, that would typically be your price profit and so in this case let's set our grid spacing to let's say one percent and the fees would essentially already be included within that one percent so now that I have my lower limit set or my minimum price and my profit or grid spacing set, I'm ready to give this bot a little bit of ammo. And the minimum amount looks like I need to give this bot is just shy of 41 USDT. In this case, let's just keep it real simple and small. 
and we'll give it 100 USDT in ammo to go to battle with. And then the last setting you really have is take profit or stop loss. And you can do it by price or you can do it by a ratio. And then you could set your trigger price for your take profit or stop loss. However, in this case, I am perfectly fine holding Bitcoin long term. And so I'm just going to let this bot run regardless of where the price goes. So I'm not going to set a take profit or stop loss. Now, my risk tolerance is more than likely very different than your risk tolerance. And so you really need to decide on your own settings. Don't copy me. This video is not a how to copy me video. It's a how to set up one of these spot infinity grid bots. And so with that being said, this bot is completely configured and ready to be deployed. So we just click the create a grid button. You get a confirmation of your settings. Go ahead and click confirm. It looks like the bot was successfully created. I can click on view strategy. That will bring me over here to the grid trading dashboard and you can see running bots. I now have that one bot up and running. And then if I click on this bot, you'll see a little more details like the actual number of times that it's actually executed a trade. Then if you scroll down, you can see the open limit orders both on the buy and the sell side, which would make up my grid for this particular bot. And then if we click on trade history, Obviously, there is no real trade history. And then if we click on details, that gives you the details of this bot. And basically, there's no whole lot of details other than the minimum price, which was at 35000 and the profit or grid spacing, which we set at 1%. So I think that pretty much wraps it up. I just wanted to create a quick video on how to set up one of these infinity grid bots over on Bean X. And if you're interested in how this bot is performing, I will more than likely do a update video in the near future. So you might want to shoot that subscribe button so you don't miss that future video. If you like this video, do me a favor, spike a like. If you have any questions or comments, drop them in the comment section down below. I will leave a link to Bean X in the description down below and until next time remember never send your money into battle without first doing your recon see you in the next video